Yo, what up, you guys? Magic IQ here, and today I'm coming back at you guys with the new, I think, I guess you could say, like, best mid-range weapon in the game, which will be the Military L86 LSW or the Custom L86 LSW. I've been seeing people upload a lot about LMGs, so I started doing my research on them as well, going through every LMG. I've upgraded the Iron Lung, the RPK. I have an Iron Lung build coming soon, actually, for you guys in the next couple of days, but... I had to showcase this weapon because I haven't seen anybody else talk about it or post it. But as you guys can see by these numbers, this thing is actually actually like just completely broken if you compare it to the rpk it's like not even close and you're only losing like 40 rpm which is a decent amount but not enough to make up for the basically 12k base damage that you gain off switching to the l86 lsw and when you run it with this headshot build you'll hit numbers like 420k on a player which is absolutely insane that's a big amount of damage i think that's like eight shots to kill a player which is insane from an automatic weapon um and that's obviously headshots this build is a little bit more of a skill gap i'm going to show you guys this as well in the video you guys will also see that we run it with a basic meta build as well that i'll quickly showcase you guys here so i hope you guys enjoy make sure you guys stay till after the gameplay to watch the full build breakdown and i'll see you guys then enjoy the gameplay got him done. oh my god again the more he pushes the more the other ones are see this shit is lit if you down the if you down the guy unless he's getting res oh my hive split got one basically dead this dude is running up I'm reloading with my health Everybody. I gotta pop double kit. Oh my god. Alright, alright. Bro, push. Alright, you're not gonna push. I'm gonna push you then, bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Skill build dead. Instant. Finishing the skill build. Skill Sorry. build dead. Oh. Finish, the build. Finish the skill build. Finish the skill build. He's crawling back. He's crawling back. He's crawling back. I have more fire. I can't. Push in. Back to the kid. That kid's almost dead, bro. Stairs, stairs, stairs. I'm killing, I'm killing that dude. I'm going stairs. I'm going stairs. I'm finishing him. He's dead. Alrighty, you guys. Now, if you guys are returning from some of my other videos, you guys see that I uploaded a video called The Best Build in the Division 2, aka the meta. This is essentially that build, but we got rid of the Fenris piece. And here we're running one Seska, two Walker, 
a Picaro's holster with crit damage and weapon damage with a blue up top on every single piece and as well as contractor gloves which give us the LMG damage, damage to the armor and the crit damage as well on those. Every single one of these other pieces is double crit. This matador bag is double crit, crit chance and crit damage with a crit damage mod. This chest piece is a Seska chest piece with crit chance, crit damage and a crit damage mod with unbreakable and obviously we're running the catharsis because that's pretty much meta right now if you want to swap to the coyotes mask if you need one in your team this is a rather good mask to run obviously to give your entire team crit damage so if you guys want to switch to that you will be a little bit squishier but this is the basic meta build that everybody runs and we are running the l86 lsw with firewall we're also running it with a scanner pulse and a decoy just because recently people have just been like running i don't know why everybody likes to run in the dark zone now but i was just reminiscing on division one the other night and it makes me sad but anyway let's get into the real real skill gap build here that i've been using a lot and i wanted to showcase to you guys now Alrighty, you guys so as you guys know a new gear set in the game is called langmo and what that does is on the third piece equipped you will get 30 percent lmg damage if you couple that with contractors and picaros that's already base 55% weapon damage for your gun and you can run all blues up top, which is insane. And I personally use a lot of headshot damage builds. If you guys wanna see more headshot damage builds in the future, make sure you guys tap in. If you guys are on PC, these will work really, really well for you. If you're on console, it may take a while to get even decent with these builds, but it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Hits way harder um, as long as you're hitting those headshots and it's absolutely insane. Intimidate also got a buff this patch, so it's ridiculously strong that's how we're hitting upwards of 400k with this build it's absolutely ridiculous so we're running weapon handling and headshot damage ideally on all these pieces for the attributes and the headshot mod on every single mod slot that's available to us we're running intimidate on the chest piece langmo there langmo there and langmo knee pads you cannot substitute any other pieces because in my personal opinion you need the picaros with headshot damage on it as well you need the contractor gloves with damage to armor and headshot damage as well and you definitely need the matador with weapon damage because it's just free weapon damage as well that's an additional five percent now you're at 60 percent weapon damage base for your gun without even having to stack into any red cores and we have headshot damage and crit chance there ideally you'd want weapon handling but um, you can do with crit chance it doesn't hurt um, headshot damage as well on the mod slot there if you guys also want to you can run armor regen i just don't see a point it doesn't like it's cool but like on this build you're not going to be able to stack enough to where you'll actually see a difference um you can pretty much run anything in that second slot if you guys want to run repair skills run that i guess if you guys want to run hazard protection i use that as well on a couple other variants of this build i just think this is the best one by far and for this build we're using a decoy and a booster hive the reason for the decoy is so you can get on the back of your enemies kind of sneak around and kind of get free headshots definitely catch them off guard it bursts really really hard so you'll take them down very very quickly especially in a group fight setting now for the statistics as you guys will see here we are pushing out about 171.6 percent headshot damage which i think min max would be somewhere around 173 with all the attributes that aren't optimized yet on this build which is pretty decent it's nothing crazy but with the amount of base damage we have, that multiplying is absolutely insane. If you guys do want to use a really good secondary though, the Iron Lung, the MG5, which is the base weapon of the Iron Lung, comes with the most headshot damage possible in the game base besides sniper rifles. And as you see, it's hitting at 191 headshot damage on this current optimization variant of the build. If you were to fully optimize, you'd be around 193, which is ridiculous for an LMG. So I highly recommend you guys put this on your back when you're running this build. The Iron Lung's a great option too, and I have a build dedicated to this gun coming out very soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think of the current meta in the division, what you're running to compete with other people, and I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.